honey, what are you doing in your choo choo? <laughs> Today's not Wednesday, it's Thursday. Now run upstairs out of your choo choo and into your smock. And don't forget your sketch pad. Mrs. Swedenborg says you're going to be painting colonial houses today. Sweetheart, come on now. Honey, we've only got five minutes. Now scoot. What's the matter? Well, honey, you can't expect to paint inside every day. Not <laughs> if you're going to be a really great artist. Remember what Turner used to do? That's right, he used to lash himself to the mast of that ship right in the middle of Typhoon. And why, why did he do that? Well, yes, he was a little manic depressive, but that's not <laughs> the point here. He was a great artist and wanted to get those waves just right. And the only way he could do that was to brave the elements, just like you're gonna do today. <laughs> Oh, I don't think you mean that. No, no, I don't think you're, I think you're just saying that because it's snowing outside. And that's not nearly as bad as a typhoon. You know what Monet used to do? <laughs> he, he, you, yeah, yeah, no, not with women. <laughs> he, he used to sit out there in three overcoats painting his winter scape with blue <laughs> finger he had none of the advantages you have he didn't have thinsulate he didn't have your nice warm parka and your big uh. pom-pom hat he didn't have your silk ski gloves and your new red snow boots he didn't look half as pretty as you're going to look when he painted oh you don't care is that the sort of sort of thing your young artists are saying to their mothers nowadays? <laughs> Do you think Picasso said that to his mother? <laughs> <laughs> well, possibly, but I don't think he really meant it. Just like I don't think you mean it. No, no, I don't. We've talked about this before, haven't we? And what did we call it? No, that was Turner. The general term is artistic temperament. And what do we do with artistic temperament? What do we do? We break through, we create, we, we break through the fear, we break through the pain, we break through the frustration, we find our creative passion again. <laughs> yes, picture it. There you are, nestled against the trunk of a naked sycamore, your hands racing across the page as you struggle to capture the essence of each clabbered on the old Bainbridge estate. <laughs> Georgia, Georgia, listen to me. It is not haunted, darling. It is just neglected. No, we are not going back to abstract. It's too messy. <laughs> anyway, you finish your masterpiece. <laughs> And then you come home and I put it up right on the refrigerator door. <laughs> so daddy can critique it when he gets home. Doesn't that sound like fun? <laughs> no, with a nice warm cup of carob milk afterwards. <laughs> Honey, you've got to change now, we've got to go. Sweetheart, I, I don't think you don't realize your potential. Do you know how rare it is for a child to know the difference between a Monet and a Monet? <laughs> <laughs> I know some adults who don't know the difference. <laughs> your visual perceptions are way above national norms. <laughs> but it's not enough to be gifted in this world. Believe me, I know. You have got to work at it. Yeah, yes, yes, dear, I know. But you have to have something to pull back on after your ballet career is over. <laughs> Horseback riding is not a career, darling. <laughs> Listen, sweetheart, I, I thought you liked being an artist. Remember all the fun we had and the mother-daughter 
pointillism class. Now, darling, you know I wouldn't push you on this. <laughs> I hoped, but I'm not going to push you. I'm not that kind of mother. <laughs> you know, I would hate to think a talent like yours was going to waste. You have such potential. Such potential. I, I would hate to see a child with the potential to rock the foundations of American art, give it all up on, all up on account of one lousy snow day. But maybe that's it. Maybe you don't have the guts to be Van Gogh. <laughs> maybe it's just all playtime for you. Oh <laughs> Georgia, Georgia. <laughs> don't start crying please the reference to van gogh was purely metaphorical i am not asking you to cut off your ear i am simply asking you to put on your snowshoe oh, okay 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 oh god all right all right if you really don't want to take our classes anymore you don't have to no, you don't. Oh Mommy God. still loves you. <laughs> Is that all right? Is that okay? Is that better? You want to go back to bassoon lessons instead? <laughs> all right, then. Art it is. Now run upstairs, quick, 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 take off your tutu and put on that red kilt your father brought back from the Hebrides. Catch that. That's it. <laughs> you land there for bravo, all bravo. Oh, my God. Oh, that was fun. That was so fun. <laughs>